Hello, so today I'm going to be talking to you about the Cultural Regions Project and the rubric for that, and, by, and also giving you a couple examples um, that you can go off of to create your own Cultural Regions Project. So <clears throat> I'm pulling this from Chapter 2 in our textbook, and the three different cultural regions, or the four different cultural regions that we've covered, either the Eastern Woodlands, the uh, Southwest Desert, the Great Plains, or the Northwest Coast cultural regions. Each of those cultural regions has a section. Um, for this project, you will choose one of those cultural regions to research and discover, and then you will create a PowerPoint for that. So I'm gonna start by showing you the rubric. And the rubric here walks you through every step um, and how to get 100%. So for this, there are going to be eight topics. The first topic you will need to research is where and when they lived. The second topic is culture. So culture and customs. So tell me ways they lived their life. Tell me about their housing. What houses did they build? Tell me about their clothing. What kind of clothing did they wear? Pretty straightforward. And food, what kind of food did they eat? About their religion, their lifestyle. How were their families set up? How were their villages set up? And then their crafts, different crafts that they made. And then last but not least, how do they live today? So most of this information can be found in your textbook alone, but the rest of the information is going to be, need to be found by research. And how we want the research to be done, how I'm grading you on your research, is if on each slide you have four facts or more. If you have four facts or more, you can get a 10 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10. So that means four facts. Is This says seven topics, but I messed that up. I meant eight. So right there it should say eight. But what I mean by this is for, say, topic one, you need four or more facts to go on that slide. For topic two, culture, you'll need four facts about culture and put it on that slide. For topic number two, you'll need four facts about housing and you'll put it on that slide. So before I move on into the rubric, let's take a look at an ex student example. So this is a, from Amelia's example from this year. And you'll see right here on the, she covered the Northwest Coast Native Americans. And in doing this, her first slide is where and when they lived. So their location. So right here, she has one, two, three, four separate facts on this slide. Her next slide is about the clothing. On this slide, she has one, two, three, four, five facts. So she has so far met the rubric to get 10 out of 10 on those slides. Customs and culture, so her culture section, she has more than four facts. She's pushing into the six facts is what she has. And then she's going into food, there's a bunch of facts there. Homes, four facts there. And so as you can see, each slide has four or more facts. So Amelia would have gotten a 10 out of 10 in the range of research. So her research was exemplary. She would get a 10 out of 10 for that. Then we're going down to the next step is PowerPoints, the information that needs to be included in this. So the 10 out of 10 range means your PowerPoint is neat and includes all eight topic areas and includes many details and illustrations, so pictures adding to its meaning. Visual display is well organized, visually appealing, and display provides strong evidence of research completed. So if we're gonna look here, I'll take you over to Brecken's. Here's another student example. Looking at his slides, they're very clean, they're very neat. There's a picture on each slide. It's easy to follow the information. And he did a, a wonderful job putting this together. Looking at all this info, crushing it, okay? So he got a 10 out of 10 on the PowerPoint visuals and all that. The next one, this will be the, the most simple grade here. Um, the next two will be, is if you include two or three maps, you get a 10 out of 10. Okay, so I need two or three different maps of the exact location of your people group. So if you'll look here at Amelia's, she included a big map here and with her people group on it right there. And then she also included a little map here, which has a more zoomed in picture. Let's see what Brecken did. 
Brecken, on the other hand, has a map here and then a picture of the territory. So later on, though, he includes a second map. So he would gotten a 10 out of 10, and so would, so did Amelia. They both got 10 out of 10 because they included a two maps. So you can include a third if you would like, but two maps gets you 10 points. One map gets you five points, and no maps gets you zero points. So the last criteria on our cultural regions project rubric is visual display content. That's just a fancy way of saying pictures and graphics. So we need a, at least eight to 10 relevant pictures and drawings on your PowerPoint. So when you're creating this PowerPoint, what you need to pay attention to is when you're pulling pictures from the internet, are they actually of your people group? Are they actually relevant? So are you putting the right pictures on the right slides? Because the last thing we want you to do as the last thing I want you to do is I want you to put the, a picture of food on the clothing slide. They need to be relevant. All right, so right here, Amelia's are relevant. We have pictures of their clothing, pictures of their moccasins. They have stuff to do with their, they tie right into the facts that are on the page. She has pictures of totem poles here, and she mentions in, on this side different totem poles that they raise. So she, she has it down to where the pictures are relevant, and there's a picture on every slide and, or two, which puts her at at least eight. So she got a 10 out of 10 there. So they did very well. These two examples are well done. They meet all the requirements of our cultural regions rubric. And as you're going through, I want you to create a PowerPoint. I want you to follow this rubric, having four facts per slide, and then you will turn it in on this page, the chapter two PowerPoint presentation page. So it says it's due the 9th, but you, if you need an extension, come talk to me. We will figure it out. But make sure to watch this video before you get going too crazy into it, and then ask me any questions you need. So make sure you're choosing one native culture you would like to research from the book. So we have Eastern Woodlands, Southwest Desert, the Great Plains, and the Northwest Coast Cultural Regions as well. Choose one of those and get started. Use the rubric as your best friend, and if you need any help, please comment on this page, and I will get to you as soon as possible.